Hi, ladybug. Hi. Mama's coming over to see what's up. It is November and it's like 60 degrees out. It's beautiful, it's sunny. Ladybug and her calf are out enjoying beautiful weather. If you missed our last video, be sure to check that video out right there. Uh, you'll be able to watch the whole calving experience. It went very smoothly. Ladybug was just a master at, you know, spitting out a baby calf. And uh, it was a great experience for us on our homestead. Long awaited win. We've had some down, a lot of losses in our home dairy operation and uh, the goal to have the home dairy thing going on. And now we have a win. So we got a little beautiful little calf out there. And uh, today I'm out in the barn doing a little infrastructure work. Figured I'd do a little catch up, show you some of the stuff we've been doing in the barn here. So check out a uh, cow barn. We've done a few modifications to this place since last time you've seen it. Uh, last time you were in here, it was a goat barn and then it was just kind of like chickens and ducks. And now we got it designed for cows. So let's take a little look at what we're doing today. What creepy lighting. Whoa. Speaking of creepy, do you guys like Stranger Things? I, uh, I've started season two. Only two episodes in. What do you think, new season? As good? It's definitely a slower start. I don't know. Don't spoil anything, but let me know what you think about the new season. So here is the stanchion where Ladybug comes and gets milked. She eats. And then over here is a little uh, gate that I built that I'm going to show you. I'm actually working on hanging this gate today. So I'm going to show you how this little barn gate, if you're building a barn gate out of wood, I'll show you what you got to do to make sure it works right for you. This is a barn gate that I built out of wood. I'm not a carpenter. I don't play one on TV. Fortunately, my dad is a carpenter and he's taught me a few basic things. When you're making a barn door out of wood, it's good to put a Z. You put that cross brace in and then uh, whichever side, the weight, wherever your hinges are, you want the lower part of the Z to be on the hinge side. Uh, so it helps support the weight of the door as it swings outward. I built this gate out of two by fours, little cattle panel to keep the calf from coming through. Uh, this is gonna be a barn door that swings in both directions so we can use it uh, to section off the barn if we need to, to let Ladybug come into one side, to let the calf come in. Uh, I got some really cool hardware I'll show you that we're gonna use to hang this thing. The hardware that I'm gonna use, we got this off of Amazon. I'll put an affiliate link. Did you guys know if you wanna support our show, all you gotta do is go to amsteady.com before you shop on Amazon. Type in AM and then steady, like homesteady.com and it will forward you to Amazon and any of the purchases that you make on Amazon will get a little affiliate bonus. Helps us keep running this channel, which we're actually gonna start doing again. So this is an Amazon purchase. Uh, this is a really cool piece of hardware. Uh, it works a lot like if you use any of those gates you get at Tractor Supply. I can take this, make sure you can see this here. So I can take this guy here and uh, drill a hole through my 4x4, get that in there. Those two will be on either side, those two washers of the wood to hold it in place nice and steady. And then that little J kind of comes up and then that bracket actually gets attached to the barn door, allowing it to turn either side of the barn. And because these are so long, they have clearance, which allows that to swing in either direction. So that'll create a barn door that swings in two directions. If you need a barn door to do that, there's your hardware link below. I need a drill with a bit that's the size of this. I need a couple of lag screws to attach my door and some big washers and an impact driver to get that nice and tight. Again, links below. Let's hang this piece.
Good news, bad news. Good news, I got my door hung, nice and level, swings nice and smoothly. The bad news is I built the door a hair too big to fit with the hardware and everything so that it could swing completely in two, both directions, like 90 degrees both ways. Let me show you what I mean. These, this hardware is cool because if I were to push this out a little bit further, it would allow the door to swing completely in this direction, 90 degrees, but also if it were out a little further, it would allow it to go completely 90 degrees the other way which is great in a small barn for multiple purposes. The problem, I built my door too wide to allow this to bump out enough and to still clear the far post. So I gotta play around with this a little bit. The hardware works great for what it does. Unfortunately, my custom made door is just a hair too big. I gotta lose like four or five inches and uh, but still make sure I have not too much space on either side for the calf to get through, which should be okay, calf's a pretty big animal. This wouldn't work as well for, I don't know, maybe smaller animals like chickens or something. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you wanna get that hardware to uh, do what I did here, but do it the right way, check out the link below. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. 